Mm, well, it's at least the first game that I've played on a new map, um, so I'm kind of interested in to see how this plays. Uh, I'm not expecting anything good, to be honest with you. Um, he seems really easy to troll, uh, and see. Really easy to troll. Because by the time I go up there after her, which I'm probably going to foolishly do, she's already going to drop down. Feel like that should have hit, but all right, whatever. See, he... he slow vaulted that. Ah! I didn't leave the target at all, which is a mistake on my part. Pretty sure I saw someone at the top of that um, noose there. Yeah, they're, they're up there. So they can see me coming. She's perfectly safe. Yeah, because she already balanced landing off and away. It's stupid. She's right there. I don't know how she didn't get hit there, but all right, whatever. Okay. He seems a little bit more forgiving with missed hits, but I don't know. He's very unforgiving when it comes to missed shots, which might be a fair trade-off, but that was stupid. I f They're just trolling. <laughs> what is this loop? This is a this is a nasty loop. You had all that time to get away from me, and I still saw you. Ah! Dumb. 
dumbass. Can I please pick up? Oh yeah, you suck, dude. Maybe ah! ah! a flashlight say meh. Just got me closer to you, dude. Oh, you are garbage, dude. I think I get this. He's out of position for it. If I can get Devour Hope going, they might be in trouble. I need to control this gen though. Make no difference to me. He dead. This is honestly the most powerful I've ever felt as this killer. Truly really isn't saying a whole hell of a lot. Ah! 
Leaving's an option. She's probably on to devour hope. I'm pretty sure I just saw her, but that might have been a, a no, that's a fucking bail. Of course. Alright, well. She's running for the save now. I need to get a hit on her before she gets to the hook. Oh, she's just gonna flat, flat out leave him. Well, that's fine. <laughs> so we got Devour Hope to work a little bit. I at least got him exposed. Um, Mr. Flashlight Boy was absolute garbage. So. <laughs> He's one of the ones that survived, but that's not really saying a whole hell of a lot. all red ranks again uh, that's pretty much been the byproduct of my games is when I'm getting trolled uh, it's usually all red ranks despite my being a rank 9 and what uh, two tiers below them now granted I, I have some knowledge of the game but I shouldn't be put up against all red ranks in a single match, given my rank. Um, it's just poor matchmaking. Um, and they're probably all survive with friends, because toxic survivors are going to be playing in groups, because they don't know how to do it otherwise. They'll, they'll fall to pieces playing solo. Um... I did get curious as to whether that locker play was um, a head-on, but I'm not seeing head-on. I'm seeing two dead hearts. And, there, I mean, there's some good takeaways with him. Um, if you whiff a shot, uh, like a, a basic attack, um, when someone dead hearts, and you have your spear gun actually loaded, uh, it's pretty forgiving in that sense. You can actually get a hit, but the problem is, is uh, if they're at full health and you hit them with the spear gun, they pretty much get an easy getaway, really. I mean, they get a free speed boost because it takes you longer to... You, you get to... You have a cooldown, and then on top of that, you then have to reload your gun, which... I think is really damning for this character in particular. I think that it would have been nice if they had an add-on that automatically reloaded your gun on a successful um, hit with uh, with a spear. Um, so that way, it's it's balanced in the sense that you're only rewarded for using his power uh, properly. Um, you don't get rewarded for misses. Um, and I, I miss a lot, so um, when I get the hits, I would like to feel a little bit more rewarded for it. Um, because I feel his power should be rewarding. Like, that's kind of the point of the power. Um, if you're getting a hit on a fully uh, healed survivor, and then you have to hit them again, like, all you're doing is giving them distance and then you have to reload your gun and it's just more time taken even with add-ons it, it seems like the reload takes quite a bit of time um after miss shot that this is the one warden's keys um i think there's a, a higher rarity add-on that makes his reload even faster but it's still time consuming and um 
it really seems like they exploit that uh, as survivors. They, if a survivor's at full health, they don't really seem to fear you as much, um, because the first hit that you get is pretty much it's a free spread burst is what it is um especially if the, if you know that the gun's not loaded uh, so if they hit you with the spear and get hit you get the speed boost and you can take solace in the fact that he's not going to shoot you immediately after the hit because the gun needs to be reloaded um I don't know. I, I like the idea of him. He he's pretty fun to play as. It's just, it's really annoying when you're playing against red rank survivors or even a a survive with friends uh, four stack, and because they see this killer and all they want to do is troll. And the the biggest drawback for him, I think, is that he's so easily trolled um so i really i really think that they need to maybe revise a few things about him uh, here comes the free screen because um i don't know he's just he's missing something um devour hope once i got it rolling which literally took me five games to get rolling um or maybe six games i, I lost count because i got trolled on like two games in a row I think I think this is my fifth but once I finally got Devour Hope rolling um, I was a little bit more um, powerful and a little bit more scary to play against but it, even then it's at that point it was the end of the game so uh, really what did I have to gain from it I'm pretty sure yeah, emblem wise I silvered so that's not really that good um, I've been averaging like gold except for the ones where I uh, the game got hijacked on me um, This is one of the first good games that I had where I didn't iridescent and chase and I missed it by a good bit Which the proximity is bullshit too because there are probably three survivors in proximity to that hook survivor so n Not really anything I can do about that um, The malicious and devout or uh, you might as well just throw them out the window. Um, if I could have got Devour Hope earlier, I probably would have been a scarier killer. But, you know, it is what it is. And then by the end of the game, it came down to me defending the totem and defending the hook. And, you know, it should have been a scenario where three survivors escaped and only two got away. And honestly, uh, the way the one was playing, the new survivor, I, I don't know her name, I could care less. Um, that survivor should have probably died also. But, I mean, it, it, it's easy to say that I could have got it and should have got it, but I, I misplayed it. I'm not the best with him. Um, he's very similar to Huntress, and I'm pretty much trash with Huntress. I'd say that I'm doing better with him than I would be Huntress. Um, it seems like his movement speed when he's aiming down sights is a little bit more forgiving than uh, Huntress when uh, she's got her hatchet drawn. Um, maybe, uh, maybe I'm mistaken on that, but it at least seems that way. Um, I'm going to cut myself off because I'm rambling a little bit, but it's because it's pretty much my last game of the night, and I just kind of want to get my critiques in. But yeah, they need to fix the, this, um, this, like, if I'm a rank 9, I should be going up against, um, purple ranks at most. I shouldn't be going up against rank 2s and 4s. That's silly. Uh...